Welcome to Family Biz Buzz, a monthly spotlight on family businesses. We have some great local family business news for you today. From a gorgeous resort in Sanger, motorcycle riding in the valley, to one of my favorite things, jewelry. We're visiting family-owned businesses that help our economy thrive. We're also going to talk about how to manage the reputation of your business and fill you in on some great local events this month that you don't want to miss. We do this show because we believe supporting family business is important. We caught up with former California Business Award winner Stan Oaken, owner and founder of the beautiful Wonder Valley Ranch Resort in the Sierra foothills. I asked him if being family owned means anything to their visitors, and this was his answer. It's important that it's a family business. Uh, it's important to parents that we're gonna send their children, their most valuable possessions, we're sending them to a camp, but it feels better to send them to a family. And so we do emphasize that and always have in our camp business. In the resort business, because our people come from all over the world, um, and uh, we, we have not really emphasized that until we won the Outstanding Family Business Award twice and we do publicize that. We're proud of that and we put the ribbon, a picture of the ribbon in our brochures. Thanks to Stan for visiting with us. To see the full interview with Stan Oaken, founder of Wonder Valley Ranch, visit the Family Biz Buzz YouTube channel. Now grab your pencil and get ready. I'm gonna let you know about some key events for family businesses. If you're going to go to one event this month, you should definitely make it to the California Family Business Awards. The 25th annual event is on April 24th at Pardini's and is hosted by the Craig School of Business's Institute for Family Business and the Business Journal. The awards recognize thriving family-owned businesses that excel in business strategies, family involvement, longevity, and more. Each year, five finalists are honored, and the business that shows exceptional qualities takes home the California Family Business of the Year Award. The event is a great opportunity to mix and mingle. I'll be there, so come say hi. Tickets are $65 and available through the Business Journal. Also happening this month, how to deliver exceptional customer service at the Radisson Hotel, and three keys to hitting your 2014 sales goals, sponsored by the Visalia Chamber of Commerce. To get connected to more business events, go to familybizbuzz.com. This is the part of the show where we just drop in on a few local family-owned businesses. We call it buzzing in. It's a quick glimpse of current and past generations of owners who have shaped business right here in the Valley. We buzzed in on Fresno Jewelry Mart, Matthews Harley-Davidson, and Reese Foods. Take a look and see what they have to say. Fresno Jewelry Mart got started back in 1945 by Charlie Lewis, and now the three different generations are taking it over, so it's kind of made its way through from the grandfather to the son and now the children. What is it about how you operate your business you think that has survived? One of the nice things that allows us to survive is we serve to many generations. I have a lot of people come in and say, oh, you know, my grandma shopped here, or my grandparents know Charlie, and you know, there's different generations that we're able to target, be a part of, so we help a lot of families. We hope to continue to help families and generations, and we're just, you know, we're really affordable. We offer a great quality service, too. I feel like we do. If you were giving advice to another family business that maybe had multiple generations and children involved in the business, what one piece of advice that could you give that's been successful for the Lewis family? I think at the end of the day, family's family, and you just remember that everybody has their good days and their bad days, and you all get along and you love each other and you just keep moving. It just works. There's, it's a good strength to have. You just keep going. <laughs> My grandparents started the dealership in 1953, um, originally um, were from the San Luis Obispo area and started the dealership in Merced, California in 53, had an opportunity to move to Fresno in 1961. We've been here since on this property, recently did major expansion um, about a year and a half ago for a new showroom and, and museum and whatnot. So my grandparents, you know, did it their entire lives. Um, we have recently lost both of them and um, we're just fulfilling the long-term generation 
collections in the future and our museum is all about reminding us where we came from. It's really important to us to just not just sell a motorcycle but to truly sell an experience and at the same time it's the longevity of the family and knowing that we've sold to generations and generations and generations within the family over time. You know there's people that can come in and say I've been doing business with your grandparents since they started in Merced or I've been doing business here since you guys used to be in that building or since they used to have this different storefront and that's really something special. Um, it's not just selling a motorcycle, it's not just selling parts, it's really that long-term relationship that we are really involved with. Next, Fred Reese of Reese Foods discusses how the Institute for Family Business got started. Just by chance, I signed up for a, uh, a family and business program and it was the most uh, exciting program I'd ever been to for a little bit because basically what it, you know, what, what they talked about were the family business issues and, and it was really working, you know, it worked. So, uh, so it worked for my dad and myself, which was really important for me. Uh, and then as, uh, you know, as the other, my other children got involved in the business, even working with my brothers and sisters and my cousins, you know, it, it all, uh, it was all, it was very, very helpful. And so, you know, I visited with some of the, uh, the professionals that I worked with, you know, we have accountants and, and attorneys in Fresno and whatnot, and we talked a little bit, I talked to them a little bit about, it'd be great to have something or, or some place where, you know, we can kind of uh, work together towards solutions. And we decided, well, maybe what would be a best, the best place to have something like this? And we thought, well, you know, the university would be the best place, and that's when we went and talked to the to the president of the university about starting the Institute for Family Business, and he was very supportive, and then it just kind of mushroomed from there. Also, Mr. Reese gave us his thoughts on the upcoming California Family Business Awards. I'm looking forward to it. I, I guess what's most important for me is just to meet my old friends and, and, uh, and meet some new ones. So I'm encouraging anybody out there that's a family business, bring your family and come and have a good time because uh, it's worth it. Make sure you check them out and support these local family businesses. Thanks again to Fresno Jewelry Mart, Matthews Harley-Davidson, and Reese Foods for letting us buzz in. To hear more from these interviews, visit our Family Biz Buzz YouTube channel. Now, if you're still with me, it's time for me to impart a little free marketing advice. This month's family business marketing topic is reputation management. I'm talking about your online reputation. Did you know that nearly half of consumers will do some kind of online research before they make a purchasing decision of any kind? What is being said about you online is more important than ever, but do you even know what's being said? Here's a few quick tips to get you started managing your online reputation. Step one, Google yourself. That's right, just type in your business name and see what comes up. If you need to narrow it, type in your business name and the city. Scroll down and see if you can find any comments about your business. Make a note of things you find and click on the comments to see if you can tell when they posted. Anything that's a year or older, you don't need to prioritize. But anything that's fairly recent, see if you can figure out who posted and see if the situation's been resolved. If it hasn't, then get on it immediately. Step two. Claim your business pages. Here's a few I recommend. Yelp.com, Google Places, YP.com. Simply go to these online directories and search for your business. Undoubtedly, it will come up and there will be a place for you to claim your page. That means take ownership of it and start managing the content, making sure whatever is listed is correct. Step three, solicit reviews from happy customers. Yes, just ask. If you're face-to-face -face with a customer, Ask them in person to go to any page you've claimed in step two and have them post a review. Check back in a few days, and if they haven't posted, you might want to call or email with a brief reminder. Hint, if you email, you can send the direct link to your review pages, making it easier for them to click and comment. You can also solicit reviews other ways. For example, on your Facebook, or on your customer receipts, or on your newsletter. But the most effective way is in person with a follow-up email. And you don't need a lot. Even three or four recent positive reviews will influence future customers. And influencing future customers is what online reputation management is all about. To review, step one, Google yourself. Step two, claim your business pages. And step three, solicit positive reviews. A good rule of thumb is to go through these steps 
every two to three months to fully manage your online reputation. And speaking of online, we're online. FamilyBizBuzz.com is creating a community for family businesses to share stories, marketing tips, family business news, networking opportunities, and more. Join us online at our website at FamilyBizBuzz.com. You can also check out our Family Biz Buzz Facebook and Twitter. Thanks for joining us to catch up with the latest Family Biz Buzz update. We'll be back for more on the first Monday of every month. Until next time, I'm Jane Olvera Quibi.